In the early 70s, cooperatives in Uganda seemed to have performed well. But it later became clear that without the government support, they could not survive on their own. The government had done a good job, but it did not think about enabling the cooperatives to run their own show. It was not until later on that the formation of the Uganda Cooperative Alliance changed everything. UCA was formed by cooperative unions in 1961 as the apex body of the Ugandan cooperatives in Uganda. As the apex, it had three main mandates. To carry out advocacy and representation of the Ugandan cooperatives, to provide education and training, and to mobilize resources for the development of the cooperative movement. After four decades of existence, the cooperative body has initiated yet another cooperative union, the Housing Cooperative. Seven out of ten Africans live in slums. Adequate housing is not only a matter of development and quality of life, it is also a human right. Poverty and the lack of sustainable housing policies have led to growing informal settlements in many African countries. The human right to adequate housing is the right of every woman, man, youth, and child to acquire and sustain a secure home and community in which to live in peace and dignity. Kampala in recent years has seen an immense influx of migrants from rural areas looking for work and better life. As these migrants settle in, the need for housing becomes paramount. The housing sector is very important in the overall socio-economic development of a country. The Uganda Cooperative Alliance, UCA, has implemented the Housing Cooperative Development Project, which mobilizes low-income communities into housing cooperatives and enables them to effectively participate in the realization of their right to adequate housing. UCA has collaborated with some government agencies, thus making it possible for the adventurous housing policy to have a birth life. Together with the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, MTIC, and that of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, MOLHUD. A housing cooperative scheme was initiated with great support from We Effect, formerly Swedish Cooperative Center, SCC. The housing cooperative is currently being implemented in the districts of Mokono, Wakiso, Buyikwe, and Kampala. The Naweru Housing Group, situated in Naweru and Kazo areas of Wakiso District, was formed after the splitting of Wakiso Central Housing Group. The members are made up of traders, teachers, persons working in the informal sector, and others. The group currently has approximately 40 members. Naweru Housing Cooperative started way back in 2010. It started as a result of the officials from uh, Uganda Cooperative Alliance came and visited our pastor's fellowship, which sits in Kazinga. And so they shared the dream about the housing cooperative project. And they taught us, told us how we can save and build a house for ourselves. And so it came at a time when most of the pastors actually renting and so we thought it was a good idea. So when they left, we started sharing it. The housing cooperative members made efforts to pull resources and work as a group. With this small milestone, the idea that once lay on paper has today shown success. So. How exactly did the cooperatives get started? I think the first housing cooperative was registered in the 50s and the majority of the members then were Asians. In the early 1986, this ministry had a project on housing 
And that project was basically intended to provide, to do rehabilitation within the Luelo Triangle. And what, under that project, we used to provide brick making machines. We used to provide stabilized bricks making machines, uh, tile making machines. So it's really not a new program. The Kasangat group as well is derived from communities in the Gayaza area of Kasangati Trading Center. Its membership consists of 45 members. Nikirozo tuwa kifunanga kifuwa ku Uganda Cooperative Alliance. Gawali wo omukisa guwa wa antu okwe kunga. Nibeso onda musente. Nibezi mbila ama yumba agagia mufuna ya abwe. Tuwa tuwe kunga ni tuwe kola mu akabina. Ni tuwe kola ilama teka agatufuga. Uruvanyo ni tuwa hita bagi batu somesi. Ama Uganda Cooperative Alliance bagi batu somesi. Bagi ane batu somesa. Ngeri okola mu cooperative housing cooperative era ne batusomesa engeri yo okola mu bukulembeze ne batusomesa engeri yo kunonya mu sente ze tuna asobola okozisa okozi bila mayumba ne batusomesa ne bila ebikwatagana nga ku HIV environment gender nenge ibyo na era bikwatagana ne cooperatives A house like this may cost between 30 and 75 million. Striking at the heart of the problem, the cooperative scheme seems to have come at the right point when the population is increasingly getting denser around the urban and sub-urban areas with great majority of low-income earners. The project strives to build capacity of cooperative members with the aim of facilitating access to adequate and affordable housing. In Mukono, a group of poly sack factory workers in Kigunga had a circle going on. However, the members identifying that they needed to acquire land and build housing units, they formed the housing cooperative. As of now, we have 30 members, 17 male and 13 female. The major thing is the housing cooperative has to own land. On which land? It will build houses for its members. However, based on the earnings, most especially, like for us members of Polisac Housing Cooperatives, who are factory workers, eh, it's quite hard to save every month continuously. Eh? An amount that will enable you as a housing cooperative buy land and on that land afford to build a house. We had organized ourselves at the circle. Now, when we were circle, we introduced to our MD the problem of renting houses. Then his question was, how can I help you? The next step was to look for land. So we got five acres of land. When we got five acres of land, we came back to him. Then he gave us a loan of 50 million shillings. And we went and we bought that land as a circle. Hmm? Then individual members bought plots from that block of land. And that's the money that we used to pay back the MD, which loan we have already cleared back. The structure of cooperatives run with grassroots organizations called primary societies, RPOs, and circles, which have formed secondary structures either known as area cooperative enterprises, ACEs, or formed unions. Some unions operate at regional level, some operate at the national level, but like any other institution, the housing cooperative has a set of necessary conditions to both manage itself and recruit new members. It maintains the module on which other cooperatives operate. We recruit members, we first sensitize the community, after sensitizing them, they apply. After applying, we sit in a meeting. After sitting in the meeting, we approve or disapprove. 
So when they have approved you, you pay the subscription fee, you pay the membership fee, and then you start the saving. I joined in 2010. So um, a person who came to me, he was like telling me, now we are renting together. So he came to me, asked me, have you, have you got land? I said, no. Then he was like telling me, for us, we have a cop. You join, we save and buy land. After buying land, we build houses for our members. So that one motivated me to join them. It started in 2008. Uh, it started with four people whereby all those people were builders. So right now we are about 30 members. And those 30 members, all of them, they are not builders. Either they are teachers, okay, from different, uh, from different professionals. The target first, looking for the poor people, is okay. But when you look, when you are critical and you look into the thing, it's not for the poor. Why? There is a saving. You can't expect somebody to save when he has nowhere to get the money. So it needed like, to me, I thought that it was for a middle class. Those who can get money for saving, at the same time getting money to pay for school fees for the children, at the same time to get the rental money. So our target at first, we looked at members, the low income earners, those who I think they call them porters. So you will get that they have the heart for the cop, but they have no money to save in their cooperative. The housing cooperative also provides avenues for members to create income generating projects that still revolve around housing. The cooperative in Seta decided to make tiles and put them out for sale. Now in the Uganda builders, we saw that the saving is very poor. So we sat and we said that we should do at least some small generating, money generating activities. So we divided ourselves into small, small groups within the cooperative. Then we got groups that are going to sell charcoal to become their saving. The pro profit will be their part of their savings. We got a group that will be making shapati and mandazi to get their Saving. So we also looked for projects like being that most of the members are builders and contracts sometimes are there, sometimes it is not there. So we sat down and said, no, we need to do something. So the things we did is to make some profile about the Uganda builders, where we move to sites and look for projects to construct houses so that we can earn some little money from the building where we give the builders and the little we save it as our savings. So we were taught also how to use the local environment. That is the brick making using our local environment, tile making, and in that tile making and the brick making, we are preserving the environment. We have program in the project is to the package of We have the the so kulabanga to chituki za tuino kubeda nga tuba bize. So tulabanga cooperative eche chitu yambie konyo. Some cooperatives have members that come from the worst slum conditions and their cooperative being in the same area face great challenges. And Katwe is one of them. Kwa igu kola, kwe gamba, eni so moja cooperative jat for single kula vikanti na fetu igu kwe kolera. Kwa 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 Nenga tuba tuina okubanti tuina chetu kola, kula vikani tusogolo kusevinga kusentezo. Kumisomo jetu funye tulina okubanti tusevinga nyo kutukili ukutukili ze chiloto cha feche taka. Na ye akatale katusungu yenyo. Kubanti ntuvolua nacho kati wano matiri ya alimono. Mbwe ntuunda, etano nenziza mchivine etano mbani no kutete nkanya andavente ate mfuna yu matiri yu mlala kole chila kate nensawo. Matibola bebyo kungulu biyo kanga, bebyo kungulu biyo kama tiri wa mtuwa lukumi neta ano. 
Many of the members in the cooperatives earn little, and to some, having one meal a day is enough or a norm. The women from the Kwefa Co Cooperative formed up and decided to make a living and income out of the craft work. And it is from this that they collect as a group and get help from UCA through the housing cooperative. Your cooperative. Yo eriwo etuadde misomo financial management biche byo kugamba engeje tukwata mu sente na yenga nafe nawo bo ino kujibera mungo ina ekirubirirwa cyo kena obache mpita vision yo jo ina tinjagala ttaka kati cooperative yo esobolo kuyamba ko kubanga elinamu abamanyirivu kubyettaka ekolagana nabantu banji ba ministry of land kati ne bamubanga muno nyetaka nga muri banji kati ngafe wetuli wana ebe esobolo tuyamba ko Tugovera could be into a Kuanga Tabiba Yangu, Mulimovici, Mulimbici Neka, Tiena, Avantu about Tegera for a new. No Kutuno, Nezako, could you send it to know? The twins of Sobola, Catitian to check saving. Catiena, where to Yamia Catuano broke as the battery is an air, or Quant Catuano Chibuga, Fetuli Watuno. Name Gidana Zoo, singer to Alina Tabas was called as was the Taga one Tunga one of what is Agalam Sana. Ate abantu tebana zimanya nyo na yenga zikola bulungi kuba abantu ga ma machine yokola blockers eri mukakadde kamunge mitwala ana na yenga fetwalo woza ko ntutiyiyo tufune machine yene ete twina ate wetujaziteka batu yambi enyo batu agadde bambi eri abantu abasosola abantu ku gamba abalwadde hmm? ne bala banga tebagasa na yebambi bo bagezeza ko nyo 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 Never to a gatuli no cola, na man, you to took a cuchiru, we did watch a fair, we got so well enough for Kufune Taka. To one navy, the woman, a very much senior, much senior, will in a cua, no baba singular, Nevaba Zawano, Tulina Vana, Abasaja Bafa, Tetulina School of Fizzy. Training and capacity building has been vital in helping the members of the cooperatives gain understanding on various issues. By this, they have been able to help the cooperatives not only get information on how to set up the cooperative, but also on how to manage the cooperatives sustainably. It is possible that one can easily dismiss the housing cooperatives as another mortgage scheme. After all, the mode of acquisition of housing or land is through financial funding. Now, when you look at housing cooperatives, as the word says, cooperatives, Circles are also cooperatives. The circle stands for savings and credit cooperatives. But the objective differs. In the housing cooperative, people save specifically to, to do housing. Sometimes it could be through housing schemes. You save money, buy the land, provide the, demarket it into plots, provide the reticulation systems, water, uh, provide the grid lines, and then you start building together as a cooperative. So a housing cooperative is an enterprise, uh, not just uh, something you pledge for a loan. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't pledge a housing cooperative for a loan. So the difference is the mortgage schemes require something to be to be presented before you're given a loan. Now, this is an activity-based thing. You save your money, you can save your money, or you can give, provide what we call the sweat equity. Give the labor. You can you wouldn't mortgage labor to make the bricks, sometimes to build, and then you start. I think basically it's in the approach. This one is an enterprise, and the the other one is a scheme where you, you, you get people's assets and you give them money. Polisak had a chance and uh, the first team was taken to Tanzania. We took uh, three members. Basically to go and learn how to make the interlocking blocks and uh, the building technologies and uh, get some skills and actually when they came back they had learned something and which enabled us also through UCA 
to buy a machine from Tanzania that we are making using here for making the blocks. The benefits of the cooperatives has given the members great hope. Together with more members, they will continue to pull resources helping each other grow. This great initiative of the UCA, in partnership with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, as well as the Ministry of Trade, will in the years ahead have come to realize great progress in solving the housing problem in Uganda. So we have now bought land and we are looking forward to building our own houses and we also, our youth are employed, we are also learning together and it has helped us, it has really changed the whole picture of our people. First of all, we have learned to work together, we have learned to save, we have learned we have made friends. We have had uh, interaction with different people. So uh, this idea, we have seen it. It is working, and it will work. Omule mugwa union o mukuru kwe kuraba ntino. Concept ya housing cooperative. Ebu na mu Uganda yona. Ebu na mu Uganda yona. Gamba kujia kuraba ntino buri district. Etuka mu and Kore no. I take your kubidi, omulimu gafu goku kukuraba antino, cooperatives e zidi wo, zinyu e zebwa, the sobroku kakigen rakiazu e kyokwezi mbira ama yumba. But um, um, I look very positively on the work that Uganda Cooperative Alliance is doing and, and cooperatives in general and if cooperatives are managed in the right way, they have so much potential and I think it's a really great way to of working together and bring people to get on social progress, basically. With the continued migration to the urban areas, and more especially into Kampala, there will be need for more effort and awareness in the housing cooperatives. This may by far be able to relieve a forcing pressure on the resources that Kampala will offer. On the other side, the population is growing, and if no attention is paid to it, there will be devastating effects that may suffocate the towns that surround the main business district and the heart of Uganda. Imagine how life will be if most low-income earners had affordable housing facilities. A futuristic Uganda will now be real. That is left for imagination and that day when everyone will retire from work with a smile on their face heading back in a cozy house they will call home.